Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and these are the hottest sil uh, Golden Age comics for the week. Uh, we're going to start out with um, a really interesting auction that happened. This is uh, the the My Comic Shop thing. <laughs> um, Prime, April Prime auction, actually. It's April Prime auction where they have sort of their big books for the month. And... Um, it was a pretty interesting auction. I actually bid on a lot of the books that are on this list. Um, all of them I lost. <laughs> they kind of went way above what I expected. Um, some, you know, kind of fell short, actually. So it should be a pretty interesting list. Some wins, some losses, um, some pretty big books, though. The first one is um, Nelly the Nurse, 23, from Marvel Atlas, uh, 1950. It is uh, a great um, cover with Nellie the nurse looking uh, very, very sexy. And um, you got the father and son and the, father, the son's like, hey, can we go home now? And the father's like, shut up. <laughs> it's like, it's a kind of a trope that I've seen many, many times on good girl art covers. And this book is sort of at the very end of that good girl art era. But um, Marvel was really all in on... Um, the good girl art comics uh they produced a bunch nelly the nurse uh tully the taller um millie the model Tess the typist <laughs> like just like they had more titles devoted to good girls than they did uh to superheroes at that time it was just the thing that they did um now this was a 5.0 that sold and it sold for 278 dollars now there's no previous uh sales in this grade uh so this is a record <laughs> based on that however uh a 4.0 sold back in 2019 for 408 dollars and a 3.5 sold for 264 dollars in uh, 2021 but it was actually down from a 2019 sale of 432. So uh, these, this book has been sort of on a little bit of a downward trend. Um, and this current sale just is more of that downward trend uh, for this Good Girl Art comic. Um, usually the price per point is around $100. Now it's going for anywhere around $70 to $75 per point. <laughs> Uh, and then with this sale, it's more like uh, uh, $60 a point. <laughs> so it keeps on sliding. Um, just, a, you know, a cool book. I just, uh, it just, weak sale. Um, there are 11 on the census and uh, 10 are universal blue labels. So fairly rare book. Uh, number nine on the list is a Planet Comics number 65. This is from Fiction House 1951. It's with all these um, Planet Comics, it's like a mixture of sci-fi and good girl art. <laughs> I mean, these are these are really great covers. Um, a little bit of bondage on this cover. Got the girl and she's just sort of spread on this, like, I, I almost think of it as a space sled where it's going up into space, but um, she's just sort of lying there and, you know, uh, just showing her beauty. <laughs> uh, just a really cool cover. Um, great colors on it. It's just a really interesting one. This was a 2.5 that sold, and it sold for $354, um, which is up from the prior record for um, this this grade, uh, which last sold back in 2020, January of 2020, for $250. So it's up quite a lot from that uh, prior record. However, more recent sales for these Planet Comics actually have been pretty strong. And there was a 3.0 that sold back in uh, July of 2023 for $524. So this is a little bit under what you would have expected. It probably should have sold around that 450 range, I would have said. So somebody got a good steal on that uh, Planet Comic 65. There are 102 of these on the census and 98 are universal blue labels. The next one, uh, number eight on the list, is uh, Teenage Romances, uh, number nine. Now this is from St. John Publications, uh, 1949. It is a Matt Baker cover. And it's kind of an interesting one because it's an unintentional innuendo cover. 
so you have in the foreground uh you have the couple and uh you know they're sort of snuggling up to each other <laughs> and then in the background you have two girls talking about them and um i guess the couple in the foreground one of them is his name is richard and uh, the girl in the background is like says the following statement which gets the innuendo she will do anything to get to, anything to hold dick <laughs> just, it's just sort of one of those funny uh things that you know yeah <laughs> what can i say uh so it was unintentional but you know it's it's, it's a funny uh funny line that's on the back uh from the background characters saying about this so um this was actually a really low grade copy um it was a 0.5 raw and it sold for 560 dollars um this one it's a 0.5 for a good reason um it was it has a complete spine split and it has um excessive water damage and also staple rust it is complete though it's a complete copy strangely but it's just in really rough shape. Um, now, this was a really strong sale for this book because um, there's no prior records in this grade. Um, you know, so it is a record just based on that. But if you look at the 2.0 that sold, uh, it sold for $627 in 2016. So that would put the price per point around $300. So this is a half grade. <laughs> so um, you would expect it to sell for around $300 and it sold for almost six. Um, and a 2.5 sold in uh, 2019 for uh, $635. Now, this book really shoots up in the higher grades. Um, like a 5.5 five sold for $4,350 back in 2020. And a uh, seven five, which is the highest grade for this book, uh, sold for ten thousand eight hundred in twenty eighteen. So this book very pricey um, in those higher grades, um, but it doesn't have that many high grades on the census. It's a quite a rare book. Uh, there's only ten on the census, and ten of them are Universal Blue Labels. Number seven on the list is uh, Fight Comics number thirty four. This is from Fiction House, 1944. It's a Joe Doolin cover. Uh, it's a great World War II bondage cover. It's one of those propaganda bondage covers where you got the girl and she's literally strapped to a, like a machine gun. <laughs> um, it's just kind of over the top. And um, it's they, they Fiction House really liked doing these kind of over the top um, like bondage or like war covers. And this one is... An exceptional one. Uh, so it was a 4.0 that sold, a CBCS copy, um, and it sold for $577. Now there's no sales in this grade, but uh, 3.0 had sold for um, uh, $468 in uh, July of 2023. So that would kind of get you the price point per point um, for CGC copies of being around $624. Uh, this being a CBCS, you're probably not going to get as much. Uh, it's just one of those things. People are a little bit biased towards uh, against uh, CBCS versus CGC. Um, so generally, you get about 20% less <laughs> with the, the CBCS copies. It's, it is what it is. Uh, so this is kind of in line with that. A little bit actually a strong sale for this book in this grade. So somebody uh, got a really cool copy. Uh, I actually... I actually prefer to get the CBCS one because of the fact that you get a bit of a discount. <laughs> it's just, you know, the grades are pretty much the same. If you resubmitted it to CGC, you'd probably still get the 4.0, maybe even higher. Um, so yeah, just uh, always a good buying opportunity. So uh, there's 32 of these on the census and 32 of them are universal blue labels. The next one on the list is one I've never seen before. Um, this is... Uh, number six and it is foremost volume eight number five uh, from novelty publications 1949 it is an lb cole cover but it's a really nice cover um you got this polar bear and it's jumping down on this girl that's like um in a boat <laughs> she's like it looks like she's like an inuit girl and she's like paddling 
this polar bear is about to jump down on her and in behind you see a guy uh, another Inuit uh, with a, in a boat and he's throwing a spear to try to kill the bear before it kills the girl just a really cool cover um, great LB Cole art um, I really I really liked it actually I bid quite high on this one um, I didn't realize at the time that I, I probably should have bid a lot more <laughs> but uh, it was a this was a raw um, 4.5 and it sold for $810 um, now this is um, because it's a raw copy uh, there's only one on the census and this is actually higher grade than the one that's on the census um, the one that's on the census and the only census like, there's only one one of one on the census is uh, Foro and it last sold for $164 back in um, February of 2023. So I was thinking, oh, you know, 4.0, this is not graded, you know, kind of should be comparable. Um, but no, no, not at all. Uh, this sold for $810. <laughs> so all of that, I just wanted to sort of explain that this is a really big sale. I was expecting like two, three hundred dollars $300, but $810, massive sale for this book. As I said, it's one of one on the census. And sometimes when when you have that really, really low census count, people will pay a premium to try to get that book, um, especially if the book that they're going after is not just the um, uh, one of one situation, but it's one of one where there's actually two. <laughs> um, and it's a higher grade than the other one that's the top of the census. So that getting that top of the census can really command a premium. And it's similar to the way um, nine sixes versus nine eights work. Um, a nine six will generally be like half or a, a third of what a nine eight will go for. So you can get, you know, just having that top of the census grade, uh, you can get two to three times what um, the next uh, best is. So um, this one kind of worked the same way. It's like a four or five and it got like actually almost four times, <laughs> actually more than four times what uh, the 4.0 had sold for. So $810 versus $164 for a graded copy. Really, really cool. Really strong sale for that one. Um, I bid up to 300 and, get, and it was like, okay, <laughs> that's enough. I didn't realize it was going to go keep on going. I was really shocked on that one. Uh, number five on the list is uh, Weird, Ta uh, Weird Chills, number one, from Key Publications, 1954. It's a Bernard Bailey cover, and it is a really interesting one because it's a blood transfusion cover. So you got this girl, you know, uh, you know, strapped to a table, and uh, this evil mad scientist guy is like doing a blood transfusion from her to this zombie in the background. Um, it's a really kind of awesome, <laughs> awesome pre-code horror cover. Uh, just a really cool one. And um, this sold, uh, this was a 3.0 that sold, and it sold for $1,275. Uh, the previous sale for this grade was set back in 2021 for $909. Now, there was a 2.5 that sold more recently, um, and it sold for in uh, 2022, uh, December of 2022, so end of 2022, for $1,125. So that would kind of put the price per point to make the, like a 3.0 worth around uh, $1,350. Uh, $1, so, you know, this book has gone up a lot. Um, so this one is kind of in line with what you would expect it to sell for. Maybe a little low, but not too much. Um, so somebody did well on this one. <laughs> Uh, there are sixty. Or there are sixty-four of these on the census, and uh, fifty-eight of them are universal blue labels. Number four on the list is Dark Mysteries, number nineteen. This is from Master Publications, nineteen fifty-four. It is a High Fleshman cover, and it's a great bondage, <laughs> torture, crazy skeletons on the cover. Got this girl. She's strapped to this big wheel. Uh, just a crazy cover actually um and it's it's an inter it has like a lot of crazy stuff like injury to eye inside the you know inside the pages and stuff 
like panels with injury to eye. So it's got a lot of the great pre-code horror elements that people go after and try to collect. Um, this was a 3.0 that sold, and it sold for $1,501. Now the previous record for this book uh, was set back in uh, um, October of 2021 for $1,440. So it's up from that previous sale. Um, and there was actually a 3.5 that sold this year um, for $1,110 uh, in um, March of this year. So um, this was a really strong sale uh, for this book. Um, it's one that you don't see that often, even though actually it's more common than what people would expect. There's 110 of these on the census, and there are uh, 101 of them are universal blue labels. So it's actually a fairly, for a golden age, <laughs> I know this sounds weird when there's only 110, but it's actually pretty common comparatively to most um, golden age books. Um, and um, this was a pretty strong sale for this book. Um, you know, people like to get it. <laughs> you know, it's a cool cover. Um, the next one is uh, number number three on the list, and it's Saint number one. This is from Avon Comics, uh, num um, 1947. It's a Jack Kamen cover. It is actually the first uh, comic featuring uh, Leslie uh, Charteris, Chart Charteris, Charteris, uh, adventurer named Simon Templar, uh, better known as the Saint. Uh, the same character that the TV series was based on. But this is a really cool one. Um, it's got like the girl in the red dress in bondage and the saint is jumping through a window to s basically save her. Uh, just a really cool um, first issue of the series. And actually the saint um, series actually had many, many really great um, uh, Jack Kamen and Al Ulmer covers that and Matt Baker covers that feature the Saint and some Good Girl mixed in. So, very cool series. Um, now, this was a really high grade, actually. It was a 8.0, and it sold for $1,527. This is a really high grade for this book. Um, you don't see them usually this high grade. Um, there are no previous sales for this book uh, in this grade, but a 5.5, uh, sold for nine hundred dollars in uh, January of uh, January of this year, t January twenty twenty four, um, and there was a uh, one that sold back in August of twenty twenty two for eleven hundred dollars. So it's actually gone slightly down this year with that January sale, and then there was a five zero that sold for um, nine hundred and seventy eight dollars in uh, July of twenty twenty three. So this book is <laughs> a little bit all over the place. Um, but uh, for an 8.0, you would expect it to be around $200 a point. Uh, so you would have expected this book to go for around $1,600. So somebody got a good good deal on this book. Originally, when I kind of appraised it, I was thinking around $1,300. But um, because it is an 8.0, probably that $1,600 would have been a more accurate um, assumption of the price. Uh, so yeah, so really great sale for this book. Um, there are 59 of these on the on the census, and 56 of them are Universal Blue Labels. Number two on the list is Blue Ribbon Comics number 13. This is a M L M L J uh, comic, which was later renamed Archie, uh, but this is before they did Archie. Um, this is from 1941. It's a Sam Cooper cover. And it is like a really interesting one with all these devils and, well, not devil, one devil and a whole bunch of little demon characters. And they're about to like use like a trident to spike some poor girl in a red dress. <laughs> Don't wear red dress women in, in the golden age. Not a good time. Okay, so <laughs> it's like she's about to get uh, skewered by these uh, demons. And you got Mr. Justice, who is the hero of, the, of, the, of this um, series, um, coming in to rescue her. And it's just a cool cover. Um, and uh, this is uh, was a 5.0 that sold uh, for $2,413. Uh, 
Now the previous record for this grade was set back in 2012, so quite a ways ago, uh, for $450. So it's up like considerably, like up six times from 2012. So massive sale for this book. However, <laughs> there have been other sales in lower grades that were actually bigger. So there was a 4.0 that sold for $3,600 in um, April of 2024. So this sale was weak in comparison to the 4.0 sale, uh, probably based on the per point. Um, this one should have sold for around $4,500 for almost twice what it sold for. Um, so interesting that it is a record, but it's actually a weak sale compared to what uh, other graded copies had sold for. There's only 19 of these, there are only 19 of these on the census and 17 are universal blue labels. Number one on the list is um, kind of a major book. It's uh, Action Comics number nine. So early Action Comics uh, from DC 1939. Uh, it's a Fred Gardner cover. Gard Gardner? Gardner <laughs> cover. Um, and it um, is one of those issues where um, if you look at the early action comics, uh, you got Action 1, which has Superman on the cover. And then later issues, they didn't really know if Superman was going to be hit or miss or whatever. So um, they'd have Superman stories, but often they didn't put him on the cover. Well, issue number 9, they didn't have Superman on the cover. Superman didn't become a regular on the cover until a little bit later. So this is kind of one of those um, non-Superman covers, which kind of makes it a little less valuable compared to some of the other actions which have him on the cover. This has a race car on the cover. It's still a cool cover, but not Superman. Um, this was a 1-0 that sold. 1-0, <laughs> which is a pretty low grade. Complete book, but not uh, the best grade. Uh, and it sold for uh, $2,950. Um, now, the previous record for this book was set back in uh, 2021 for $3,500 in this grade. Um, but the most recent sale for this was in uh, June of 2020, um, 2022, I should say, 2022, for $2,880. So this one is slightly up from that previous sale but down from that all-time high uh that was set back in uh, 2021 so it's down $600 from the high up $100 from the previous sale <laughs> so not not a not a bad sale um now there's only 37 of these on the census and 20 of them are universal blue labels really hard book to find actually because these early actions like there's enough collectors that want to get that the first one through ten usually um of supermans because it's you know it, he's such a major character so these books are the ones that sold in the uh april prime or uh, prime uh auction from uh, my comic shop um i hope you enjoyed this list and uh, tell me what you thought did you buy anything from this auction i'd like to hear that when i actually got several books which you'll see in future unboxings <laughs> so i actually bought a few in this one um nothing none of these ones but um but uh, i did get a few from the from the auction so tell me what you got in the comments below thanks for watching bye for now